this week's five ingredient dinner, I'm doing something with pork tenderloin. And my other ingredients are some sliced peaches, some red onion, a little bit of red wine, and also some honey. So what I did with my pork tenderloin, when I got it home from the grocery store, I went ahead and sliced it into two inch thick slices. And then I put it into a plastic bag and pounded it thin and froze it that way. So that way it's a whole lot quicker to thaw out than a whole pork tenderloin. And you don't want to have to do that on a weeknight. So in my pan, I have a couple of my pork cutlets and they've got some really nice cover color on them. And this is just a little bit of oil, salt, and pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these out of the pan and we're going to start building our sauce. So we've got all these nice little brown bits in the bottom, and this is great flavor building. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in my peaches, and also my onion, bring my heat up a little bit more, and then bring in my wine. And you're just gonna let that thicken and reduce while your peaches soften along with your onions. And if you didn't want to use wine, you could use some balsamic vinegar diluted with some water. So I'm going to let this soften and get thick, and then I'll show you how to finish the sauce. So my peaches are nice and soft, and my onions are a little bit caramelized. And if you start to have too much reduction in your wine, just pour in a little bit of water, so that will help soften things up as well. And I'm just going to finish with a little drizzle of honey. That'll help thicken things up a little bit. Kind of creates a nice little glaze over your peaches. And then you can just get your sauce right there over your pork. Of course, you will have probably have several more pieces of pork to serve your family. And then get some of that nice liquid over the top as well. So you'll probably have several more pieces of pork tenderloin to serve your family. But what you end up with is a beautiful plate that's full of flavor and this was really quick and easy to pull together. So you can find this recipe in Wednesday's flavor section of the Tyler paper or on CBS19.tv.